In a Citrix environment, it is best practice to secure traffic between your storefront server and your delivery controller. Uh, because user credentials, for instance, and a lot of other information is passed from the storefront server to the delivery controller. And even though it's obfuscated, it's not irreversibly obfuscated, which is to say, if someone is able to grab that traffic, they will be able to uh, reverse the obfuscation and see things like user credentials. So we definitely want to use HTTPS or SSL to secure that connection. So the way to do that, there's really two different strategies. You could install Microsoft IIS and use that to bind a certificate to the appropriate port and that will secure the traffic. But that's not the most elegant solution because you don't necessarily want to install a whole suite of software just to secure a particular port. So the other option is to construct a really long NetSH command uh, that accomplishes the same thing. It binds a certificate to a port. And the way you construct that command is kind of a pain. So just to show you really quickly, the process involves uh, using this sort of beginning, netsh add http, netsh http add ssl cert. You specify your IP address and your port. You specify the certificate hash, which you have to get from uh, going to your MMC console and opening your certificate, snap in. So you have to do this. Select the computer account, click next, click finish, click okay. Go into your certificates, personal certificates, open the certificate, go to details, copy the thumbprint right here. So you have to press control C, you can't right click. And then you paste your thumbprint in and you have to remove all the spaces. And after you do that, you can then grab the application ID, which is the last thing you need to, to add to the command. So the application ID, and let me just finish this up. The application ID, to get that, you have to go into the registry editor. So then you can go to registry edit, then you have to navigate to the appropriate area. It's under H key classes root, installer, like, Scroll down to installer, expand this out, uh, products. And then under products, one of these hexadecimal strings of text uh, is what we're interested in, uh, but we have to find the one associated with Citrix Broker Server Service. So you do that by control Fing and searching for Citrix Broker Service, at which point you can, you, there's uh, the Citrix Broker Service and you have to copy this key out. So you copy this, copy key name, and then you have to format it in the appropriate way. So this is how it is copied to the clipboard, but you have to remove the full path, and then you have to add dashes where appropriate. So the dashes, if I remember correctly, you start with eight characters, followed by a dash, then four characters, then another four characters, then another four characters, and then there's 12 characters at the end. So it looks good. You then take this, put it in your app ID, and we've got a fully constructed NetSH command. But I'm kind of skeptical that this would work. So let's try it out. I'm gonna control A, control C this, and put it into the command prompt. And the parameter is incorrect. So even though we spent all this time constructing this, this command, it still didn't work. And the reason for that is when you copy a certificate hash from the certificate uh, management screen, it actually includes a little hidden Unicode character right here that will mess up the command. So there's just a lot of effort that goes into constructing this command and you have to go all over the place and format text and it's just not ideal. So what I made is a little script that's up on GitHub called the certificate binder. And it's just, uh, it does exactly what it sounds like. It basically binds the certificate for you and takes out a little bit of the man manual effort associated with binding a certificate to the Citrix broker service. So to run it, you first have to download it. That's available from our GitHub page under automation. But uh, to run it, the first step you do is open a command prompt or an administrative PowerShell terminal. That either way, it has to be administrative. And if you open a command prompt, type PowerShell to get into PowerShell, and then browse to the directory that contains the script. 
So after that, you can actually invoke the script using dot slash and the name of the script, certificate binder in this case, dot ps1, and you press enter. And it will uh, kind of give you a moment to collect yourself, so you press enter to begin. First thing it does is it finds all the relevant certificates, and if you have more than one, you can select the one that's appropriate for you. So we've only got one on this particular system, so we're gonna select this. This is the one that we want to add to our, to our uh, broker service to bind to it. So we'll select this certificate and click OK. Next, we have to select the IP address that we want to bind to. So this is gonna be our IP address. You may have more than one, so select the right one and click OK. And then we enter a port number. So we can use the default of 443 or we could select a different port number. I'm just gonna use 443 here. And it will generate a net sh command, actually the exact same one that we generated before, but a little bit less in the way of effort. So let me kind of make this side by side here. So it's generated this command. It tells you the information it's gathered. Uh, the command looks like it matches and let's go ahead and run it. And hopefully this should work. So let's do it. So we will run and the net, the SSL certificate has been successfully added. And we can even verify that by using netsh HTTP show SSL cert. And there it is. So it's a little bit easier than going through all these different MMC snap-ins and the registry editor and doing manual formatting of things. I just kind of, scripted that all in PowerShell to take a little bit of the manual effort out of it. And if you want to find it, it's under automation scripts on the Stormwind GitHub page. It's kind of a long script, but all it's really doing is a few basic things. It's, uh, if I scroll down to the main section here and get past the functions, it basically allows you to select a certificate, allows you to select an IP address from the set of IP addresses that are sent to your interfaces, it then allows you to enter your port number and it will find the application ID automatically of the Citrix broker service, at which point it kind of constructs the command and gives you the option of running it. So nothing too crazy, but it does speed things up and it also reduces the, the opportunity for typos and other frustrations that can occur when you're kind of constructing these long commands. So hopefully that's something that's useful for you and thanks for joining me.